today we are sowing oats. We got the 4640 on a John Deere 750 seed drill. And we are putting down alfalfa with a oats parent crop. And what the parent crop does, the oats, is it serves to help the alfalfa get started. What the seed drill does is the oats get drilled into the ground and then there's tubes from the alfalfa boxes up front that drop down to right about here and they just kind of spill the alfalfa seed over the top. Now the oats will come up and the alfalfa will get a start. The idea behind putting a parent crop in with alfalfa is that the alfalfa will do a better job or will produce a better yield because it has a chance to get started. Um, and then you'll come through and you'll harvest the oats as either a grain or a forage. We usually, we, what we used to do, um, we used to harvest our oats as a grain, but for this farm, we are harvesting the oats as a forage. We're gonna come through with the hay bind, we're gonna cut off the alfalfa. And you usually wanna cut it off right above where the alfalfa, the tips of the alfalfa, alfalfa you don't wanna cut off those tips. Um, but often, that's what happens, but as long as the alfalfa gets a good start, you should be fine. And like I said, the idea behind it is to get it a, a better alfalfa stand. So, here we got the 46, and we're just putting it down. We got about 30 acres to go out here. Now these seed drills are all mechanical. They're ground driven by the right, right rear wheel. And the discs on them are offset by 15 inches. They're 24 inches apart in the front, and then there's a second row in the back that are 20, 24 inches apart, but they're offset by 15 inches. So therefore you have your spacing of 15 inches. There aren't any sensors on these types of seed drills. Now upon first inspection at what's already been planted, you can look down at these rows, and you can see the old seed that's in the row. Now if you just carefully look around, like right here, they're really hard to spot because they're very, very small. Right there, we have our alfalfa seed. Now that'll probably settle down, down in there. But the oats will come up first and the alfalfa will grow slow, slower. And once it gets established, you can come through and cut it. Now, some people say that you can cut it uh, once it gets established, that you can cut it in the fall. Uh, traditionally, we haven't done that. Um, what they usually say you want to do is let the alfalfa grow up and then establish a store of carbohydrates in the roots. And that's usually the goal with alfalfa because if you don't get those carbohydrates built up, then you can have a weakened stand the following year, which is why they never really advise to cut late in, late in the year unless it's, immediate, unless it's immediately after a fall frost. Here we have alfalfa seed. As you can see, it's pink because it's treated. Insecticide. Yeah, it's probably some kind of insecticide against what, I'm not sure. And over here we have our regular oats. It's just like the regular oats that we feed our cattle. The only difference is that it's been cleaned. It's not a... Uh, got all the weed seed out of it. Yeah, got all the weed seed out of it. And it's not pink or colored because it's not treated with anything. So, fun fact of the day. Now you can actually see the alfalfa and the oat seed drop down. Out of these tubes here, the alfalfa drops down and spills out over the ground. It comes out of these boxes up front. And then back here you can see the drive for the oats. And it just is basically a controlled spill, is all that this seed drill seed drills really do.
We'll be right back.